Hi friends, welcome to Sada Learning Hub. The, uh, you are with Sada Shiva. Today's session, we are going to learn the methods to prevent the thread execution. Yield, join, slip. The methods are yield, join, slip. Now, we can prevent or stop a thread execution by using the following methods. First one is yield. Second one is join. Third one is slip. Now I am going to discuss about yield method. Yield method causes to pass the current execution thread for a giving the chance of remaining waiting threads of the same priority. If all waiting threads have the low priority or if there is no waiting threads then the same thread will be continued its execution. If several waiting threads with the same priority available then we can't accept exact which thread will get the chance of execution the thread which is yielded when i get chance once again for the execution it depends on the uh, depends upon the thread scheduler now the signature of the yield method is public static negative void yield method if you so show if you see this uh, picture now thread whenever thread is created that is the bond straight whenever we are starting the thread it comes into the ready or runnable state after that based on the thread scheduling it goes to the running it goes to the running whenever we are calling that thread dot yield it is changed to from running to ready or runnable state here this is the thread dot yield i can show you some examples here see this example i am creating a class my thread it is extending from the thread i am overriding the run method as well it's like same only after that i am creating a one more method uh, thread yield demo i am this is the main method i am creating a object of my thread i am starting the thread whenever we are calling the start method it comes to uh, it uh, executes this method run method here iterating the loop for loop uh, uh, it calls the thread dot yield whenever we are calling the thread dot yield whenever we are calling the thread dot yield it goes into ready or runnable state the above example the above example the chance of completing the main thread first it is high because child thread is always calling the yield method because child thread is always calling the yield method next i am going to discuss about next i am going to discuss about join method if a thread wants to wait until completing the some other threads then we should go for the join method if a thread wants to wait until completing the some other threads when we should go for the join thread for example if a thread t1 executes t2 dot join then t1 should go for waiting state until completing of the thread 2 if you see this example when you fixing if the t1 whenever we are calling the t1 dot join wedding cards printing whenever we are calling the t1 dot join sorry t1 dot join whenever we are calling the t1 dot join then t2 should go for the waiting t2 should go for the waiting state until completion of the t1 this is the example here in the join method uh, uh, it takes the some uh, overloaded methods are there those are
if you see this one these are the join methods overloaded methods it, for this join method it takes the no argument no uh, it doesn't takes any argument if you see this join method it takes uh, long argument long if you see this one join it takes the uh, long as and integer arguments every join method throws every join method throws interrupted exceptions which is checked exceptions hence compulsory we should handle either by try catch or by throws keyword if you see this one this is the class my thread i am extending from the thread class after that i am creating uh, i am overriding the run method here i am calling the uh, i am creating a object my thread class object uh, i am calling the t1 dot start method whenever you are calling the t1 dot start method uh, a run method will be executed here i am putting i am putting t1 dot sleep why because every join method throws interrupted exceptions when we checked the exceptions hence compulsory we should handle either by the try or catch block here i am handling by using the try catch blocks sorry join if you are commenting if you are commenting the line 1 if you are commenting the line 1 see this is the line 1 if you are commenting this line 1 then both threads will be executed simultaneously and we can't accept um, we can't expect exact execution order if you are not commenting the line 1 um, uh, then the main method will wait until completing the child thread in this the output it seems the thread five times thread five times followed by the rama thread five times next i am going to discuss about next i am going to discuss about sleep if a thread doesn't want to perform any operation for a particular amount of time then we should go for the sleep method for the sleep method we have a two overloaded methods are there one is it takes the long uh, long argument and another one is it takes the long and integer argument if you see this one whenever thread uh, object is created it's coming to born state or new state whenever you are calling the t dot start method it's coming to the ready or runnable states after that based on the thread scheduler it's going to running state whenever we are calling the thread dot sleep method it's again it's going to ready or run state if the time expires the uh, sleeping thread got the interrupted it's going to ready or runnable state i can explain the one example here if you see this example i'm creating a thread join demo i'm creating public static wired main here i'm putting thread dot sleep of 3000 means the thread will be wait up to 3000 seconds after that i'm printing the e next i'm waiting up to 3000 milliseconds after that i'm waiting up to thread dot sleep 3000 milliseconds now it prints m e g a for example if you run this program java c dot java java that demo it prints m e g a prints like this next i am going to discuss about 
interrupting thread we can interrupt a sleeping or waiting thread by using the interrupt method or break off method of thread class if you want to interrupt any thread by using interrupt method to break the the thread i can show you one example here if you see this example i'm as well as same thing i'm creating a my thread extending from the thread class i'm overriding the run method this is the run method if you want to use the sleep method the method must and should with a try or catch block or uh, we can throw the exception if you go this one i'm creating a object of thread class after that i'm t dot start whenever you are uh, t dot start the run method will be executed i'm putting t dot interrupt one this is the t dot interrupt one if we are commenting line one this is the line if you are commenting line the main thread won't interrupt the child threads and hence child threads will be continued until the completion if we are not commenting line one then main thread interrupts the child thread and hence child thread won't continued until the completion of the um, until the completion in this case of the until the completion see if you want to if we are commenting line one if you are commenting this line one thread won't interrupt the child thread and hence child thread will be continued until the completion if we are not commenting this line one means like this if you are not commenting this line one line the main thread interrupted the child thread and hence the child thread won't continue until the completion of the thread if you run this program we got the end of the main method first it prints the end of the main method after that i am in lazy thread after that it prints i am lazy thread I, after that it prints the i got interrupted next whenever we are calling the interrupt method we may not see the effort immediately if the target thread is is in sleeping or waiting state it will be interrupted immediately if if the target thread is not in sleeping or waiting state then interrupt calls will wait until the target thread will be entered into the sleeping or waiting state once the target thread enters into the sleeping or waiting state it will effort immediately it will affect immediately in this life cycle if the target thread never entered into the sleeping or waiting state then there is no impact of interrupt calls simply interrupt calls will be wasted i can show you an example here if you see this example i am creating a my thread extending from the thread i am overriding the run method as well as i am sleeping method this is the sleep method after that i am creating a object of my thread i'm t dot start whenever you are t dot start if it the run method will be executed after that t dot interrupt this is the end of the program in the above program in the above program interrupt method this is the interrupt method in the above program the c this in this program the interrupt method calls invoked by the main thread will wait until child thread entered into the sleeping state once child thread entered into the sleeping state then it will be interrupted immediately next i am going to discuss about what are the differences between yield join and sleep in case of some properties okay purpose what is the purpose of yield join and sleep now yield purpose is to pass the current executing thread for a given the chance of remaining waiting threads of the same priority if you go with the join the purpose of join is if a thread wants to wait until completing the some other threads then we should go for join if you go with the sleep method the sleep method purpose is if a thread doesn't want to perform any operation for a, a particular amount of time then we should go for 
द स्लीप मेथड नेक्स्ट इन केस ऑफ स्टैटिक इल्ड मेथड इज एस द इल्ड मेथड इज ए स्टैटिक मेथड If you go with uh, join method, join method is not a static method. Slip method is a static method. Now, yield method contains a final. Sorry, yield method doesn't have a final modifier, and uh, yield method and slip method doesn't have a final modifier. Slip method has a final modifier. So, yield method. There is no overloaded methods are there, but sleep and sleep and join methods are over, uh, some overloaded methods are there. Yield method it uh, throws the exceptions and sleep um, and uh, sleep and join method doesn't throw any exceptions. Yield method is a native method. But sleep method is not a native method. Join method is not a native method, and uh, sleep method is a native method. It uh, takes the arguments long and millisecond, long in milliseconds, and uh, uh, and long in long in milliseconds, and also it takes the integer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this lesson helpful to you. Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many session that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.